What up guys, Marty Blends back with another tutorial and today we have a beautiful high drop fade so let's jump right into it. First up, moisten up your canvas to be able to section and clip with ease. Make sure both sides are even along the parietal ridge. Alright now as you can see I do clear up everything that dangles from the bottom half of my parting. I do this just to have a nice surface to work on. Using your trimmer set in your first baseline but remember not to press too deep into the scalp. Pressing too harsh will make it much more difficult to remove the line later throughout the cut. Now carefully get rid of everything underneath. For a cleaner look, use a shaver to reduce all the stubble. Alright, with your preferred clipper, fully open up the lever and create a half inch guideline. If you happen to want a longer blend, make sure your guidelines are slightly bigger. Personally, I love the tight dark blends and that's the look I'm going for today. Next, with your 1.5 open, create a full inch guideline. Keep in mind, most of the blend is within this guideline, so make sure to give yourself enough space to work within. With the number 2, remove all the bulk that is left above this. In this case, I did decide to use the number 3 above just to reduce the slightest bit of hair throughout the dark area. Perfect, now slap on the half guard halfway open and create a half inch guideline. Guys, stay patient throughout the process because it is frustrating if you're just starting off. Next, with the one guard fully open, create a half inch guideline. Play around with the lever if needed. If you notice, this will break the line between the light and dark area of our fade. Now with your lever open, use your corners to get rid of any line you made earlier from the lever open. Finally, fully close up the lever and hit that bottom baseline midway. Remember to gradually open up the lever as you go up. Guys, I do use my corners to end up with a more detailed cut. A small tip towards removing the bottom baseline is to use your trimmer's corners as well. This is if you have a stubborn baseline. Make sure you detail every section nicely as it will go a long way. Guys, I just want to thank you for all the love and support you guys have shown the channel. It truly means the world and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you are new, make sure to subscribe and comment down below if you're having trouble with anything. And if you happen to want these translucent premium guards I use in every video, check them out at martyblends.com.
right guys, I did see too much bulk above the fade so I reduced using my blending shears. Next up towards the top, I basically lay all the hair forward and section above the parietal ridge, shredding down all the hair that would potentially be dangling off the sides. On here I do use a diffuser to make my hair look much more curlier and give it some volume. As for lineups, I just touched up his corners because there wasn't much to work with and it was still going to be covered up by the top portion of his hair. Don't forget to use some product to enhance the look you're going for. In this case, I did use enhancements for his beard, but don't get it twisted, I rarely use them. I just thought it looked outstanding with the look we were going for. Guys, here is the final product for today's high drop fade. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are not. That's been it for me. I'm Marty Blends, and I'm out. Peace.